Barushaski, Barushaski, Bursaski, Brushki is a language isolate spoken by Barusho people who reside almost entirely in northern Gilgit Baltistan, Pakistan, with a few hundred speakers in northern Jammu and Kashmir, India. In Pakistan, Barushaski is spoken by people in Hunza Nagar district, northern Gilgit district, and in the Yasin and Ishkaman valleys of northern Gizar district. Their native region is located in northern Gilgit Baltistan and borders with Pamir Corridor to the north. In India, Barushaski is spoken in Botraj Mohalla of the Hari Parbat region in Srinagar. Other names for the language are Biltam, Kajuna, Kunjut, Brushaski, Barukaki, Barukaski, Barushaki, Barushki, Brugaski, Brushes, Wurchikwar and Misa, Ski. Classification <laughs> 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 Attempts have been made to establish links between Barushaski and several different language families, although none has been accepted by a majority of linguists. Following Berger 1956, the American Heritage Dictionaries suggested that the word asterisk abel apple, the only name for a fruit, tree reconstructed for Proto-Indo-European, may have been borrowed from a language ancestral to Barushaski. Apple and apple tree are bought in modern Barushaski. Other hypotheses posit a genealogical relationship between Barushaski and the North Caucasian languages, Kartvelian languages, Yeniseian languages and or Indo-European languages, usually in proposed macrofamilies. The proposed Dene Caucasian macrofamily includes Barushaski as a primary branch alongside North Caucasian and Yeniseian. A proposed macrofamily, known as Karasuk. Includes Barushaski as part of a branch with North Caucasian, with both linked more distantly to Yeniseyan. Some kind of relationship to the proposed Indo-Hittite macrofamily has been suggested by Eric P. Hamp. There have also been proposals that Barushaski constitutes, or is descended from, a primary branch of Indo-European, albeit one not closely related to its present neighbors in the Indo-Iranian languages. In particular, Ilya Kasul has proposed similarities between Barushaski and the extinct Phrygian languages. The linguist Sadaf Munshi stated that Barushaski may have developed alongside the Dravidian languages before the Indo Aryan migration to South Asia, mentioning the fact that both possess retroflex sounds. Barushaski was not included in a 2008 attempt by Edward Vida to revive Merit Rulin's proposed Dene Yeniseyan macrofamily, which linked Yeniseyan and Nadine. Topic varieties Barushaski is spoken by about 90,000 speakers in Pakistan, and also by a few hundred in India. In Pakistan, it is spoken in main valleys, Hunza, Nagar, and Yasin. The varieties of Hunza and Nagar diverge slightly, but are clearly dialects of a single language. The Yasin variety, also known by the Kohar exonym Wurchikwar, is much more divergent. Intelligibility between Hunza Nagar and Yasin is difficult, and Yasin is sometimes considered a distinct language. Yasin is the least affected by contact with neighboring languages, though speakers are bilingual in Kohar. Yasin is spoken by a quarter of Barushaski speakers. In India, Jammu and Kashmir Barushaski has developed divergent linguistic features which make it systematically different from the varieties spoken in Pakistan. The dialect of Barushaski spoken in India has been influenced by Kashmiri, as well as Hindi and Urdu. Unique to JKB is the features of vowel syncopation. Jammu and Kashmir Barushaski shares more similarities with the dialect spoken in Nagar than with that spoken in Hunza. Writing system Barushaski is a predominantly spoken rather than written language. Occasionally the Urdu alphabet is used, but no fixed orthography exists. Adu Wazir Shafi wrote a book Barushaski Razon using a Latin script. Tibetan sources record a Bru Sa language of the Gilgit Valley, which appears to have been Barushaski, whose script was one of five scripts used to write the extinct Zhang Zheng language. Although Barushaski may once have been a significant literary language, no Bru Sa manuscripts are known to have survived. Linguists working on Barushaski use various makeshift transcriptions based on the Latin alphabet, most commonly that by Berger, see below, in their publications. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Phonology. 
Barushovsky primarily has five vowels, i.e. a o u. Various contractions result in long vowels. Stressed vowels, marked with acute accents in Berger's transcription, tend to be longer and less open than unstressed ones, i.e. a o u, as opposed to. Long vowels also occur in loans and in a few onomatopoeic words. Grun 1998. All vowels have nasal counterparts in Hunza in some expressive words and in Nagar also in proper names and a few other words. Berger 1998 finds the following consonants to be phonemic, shown below in his transcription and in the IPA. Notes Grammar <laughs> 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 Barushovsky is a double marking language and word order is generally subject object verb. Nouns in Barushovsky are divided into four genders human masculine, human feminine, countable objects, and uncountable ones. Similar to mass nouns. The assignment of a noun to a particular gender is largely predictable. Some words can belong both to the countable and to the uncountable class, producing differences in meaning. For example, when countable, balt means apple, but when uncountable, it means apple tree. Grun 1998. Noun morphology consists of the noun stem, a possessive prefix mandatory for some nouns, and thus an example of inherent possession, and number and case suffixes. Distinctions in number are singular, plural, indefinite, and grouped. Cases include absolutive, ergative, oblique, genitive, and several locatives. The latter indicate both location and direction and may be compounded. Barushovsky verbs have three basic stems, past tense, present tense, and consecutive. The past stem is the citation form and is also used for imperatives and nominalization. The consecutive stem is similar to a past participle and is used for coordination. Agreement on the verb has both nominative and ergative features. Transitive verbs and unaccusatives mark both the subject and the object of a clause, while unergatives verbs mark only subject agreement on the verb. Altogether, a verb can take up to four prefixes and six suffixes. Topic: Nouns. Topic: Noun classes. In Barushovsky, there are four noun classes, similar to declensional classes in Indo-European languages, but unlike Indo-European, the nominal classes in Barushovsky are associated with four grammatical genders. M equals male human beings, gods and spirits F equals female human beings and spirits X equals animals, countable nouns Y equals abstract concepts, fluids, uncountable nouns below, the abbreviation H will stand for the combination of the M and F classes, while HX will stand for the combination of the M, F and X classes. Nouns in the X class typically refer to countable, non-human beings or things, for example animals, fruit, stones, eggs, or coins. Conversely, nouns in the Y class are as a rule uncountable abstractions or mass nouns, such as rice, fire, water, snow, wool, etc. However, these rules are not universal. Countable objects in the Y class are sometimes encountered, e.g., ha, house. Related words can subtly change their meanings when used in different classes, for example, bayou, when a member of the X class, means salt in clumps, but when in the Y class, it means powdered salt. Fruit trees are understood collectively and placed in the Y class, but their individual fruits belong to the X class. Objects made of particular materials can belong to either the X or the Y class. Stone and wood are in the X class, but metal and leather in the Y class. The article, adjectives, numerals and other attributes must be in agreement with the noun class of their subject. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Pluralization. There are two numbers in Barushovsky, singular and plural. The singular is unmarked, while the plural is expressed by means of suffix, which vary depending on the class of the noun. H class, possible suffixes ting, arrow, daro, taro, sorrow. H and X class, possible suffixes o, iso, ko, iko, juka, ono, u, i, i, ts, uts, muts, umits, nts, ants, ints, ients, ints, 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 
Y class, possible suffixes ing, ang, ing, eong, eng, ong, ongo, ming, seeing, icing, mising, ikang Nagar dialect Some nouns admit two or three different prefixes, while others have no distinctive suffix, and occur only in the plural, e.g. bras rice, ger wheat, bishke, fur, cf, plural tantum. On the other hand, there are also nouns which have identical forms in the singular and plural, e.g. hagor horses. Adjectives have a unique plural suffix, whose form depends on the class of the noun they modify, e.g. burum white gives the x-class plural burum iso and the y-class plural burum ang. Examples of pluralization in Barushaski Wazir m, place wazirishu vizir, minister. Here m, place hori man stress shifts. Gus f, place gushing a woman stress shifts. Dasin f, place daisiu girl, unmarried woman. Huck x, place huka dog. Theli x, place. Tilly walnut. Theli y, place. Theling walnut tree. Topic: Declension. Barushaski is an ergative language. It has five primary cases. The case suffixes are appended to the plural suffix, e.g. Husainiakatsi, the people of Hussein, ergative plural. The genitive ending is irregular, mo, for singular f-class nouns, but e, in all others, identical to the ergative ending. The dative ending, r, r, is attached to the genitive ending for singular f-class nouns, but to the stem for all others. Examples Here e, the man's, gus mo, the woman's, gen, here are to the man, gus mu are to the woman dat. The genitive is placed before the thing possessed, hunzu tham, the emir of hunza. The endings of the secondary cases are formed from a secondary case suffix or infix and one of the primary endings, e, r, or, um. These endings are directional, e, being locative, answering where, r, being terminative, answering where to, and, um, being ablative, answering where from. The infixes, and their basic meanings, are as follows. Ts at ul in at on with al near only in the Hunza dialect. From these, the following secondary or compound cases are formed. The regular endings ul e and ul r are archaic and are now replaced by ul o and rulo, respectively. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Pronouns and pronominal prefixes. Nouns indicating parts of the body and kinship terms are accompanied by an obligatory pronominal prefix. Thus, one cannot simply say mother or arm in Barushaski, but only my arm, your mother, his father, etc. For example, the root me mother is never found in isolation, instead one finds I me his mother, mu me her mother, gu me your mother 3 fsg you me their mother 3 h place you me sorrow their mother's 3 h place the pronominal or personal prefixes agree with the person number and in the third person the class of their noun a summary of the basic forms is given in the following table personal pronouns in barushaski distinguish proximal and distal forms eg kin he this one here but in he that one there in the oblique there are additional abbreviated forms Topic. Numerals The Barushaski number system is vigesimal, i.e. based on the number 20. For example, 20 altar, 40 alto altar 2 times 20, 60 iski altar 3 times 20, etc. The base numerals are 1 han or hen, hawk 2 alto or alton 3 isko or iski 4 walto 5 sindo 6 Mishindo, 7 Thalo, 8 Altambo, 9 Huncho, 10 Torumo, also Torimi and Terma, 100 The examples of compound numerals, 11 Terma Han, 12 Terma Alto, 13 Terma Isco, 19 Terma Hunti, 20 Altar, 30 Altar Torumo, 40 Alto Altar, 50 Alto Altar Torumo, 60 Iski Altar, and so on. 21 Alter Hoc, 22 Alter Alto, 23 Alter Isco and so on. Verbs <inaudible> 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 <inaudible>
Topic Overview. The verbal morphology of Barushovsky is extremely complicated and rich in forms. Many sound changes can take place, including assimilation, deletion and accent shift, which are unique for almost every verb. Here, we can only specify certain basic principles. The Barushovsky finite verb falls into the following categories. For many transitive verbs, in addition to the subject, the direct object is also indicated, also by pronominal prefixes which vary according to person, number and class. All verbs have negative forms, and many intransitive verbs also have derived transitive forms. The infinitive forms, which in Barushovsky are the absolutives of the past and present, the perfect participle, and two infinitives, admit all the finite variations except tense and mood. Infinitive forms are made together with auxiliary verbs and periphrastic forms. Topic: The 11 positions of the finite verb. All verb forms can be constructed according to a complex but regular position system. Berger describes a total of 11 possible positions or slots, although not all of these will be filled in any given verb form. Many positions also have several alternative contents indicated by a, b, c below. The verb stem is in position 5, preceded by four possible prefixes and followed by seven possible suffixes. The following table gives an overview of the positions and their functions. The positions of Barushovsky finite verbs. Topic. Formation of tenses and moods. The formation of the tenses and moods involves the use of several positions, or slots, in complicated ways. The preterite, perfect, pluperfect and conative are formed from the simple stem, whereas the present, imperfect, future and conditional are formed from the present stem, which is itself formed from the simple stem by placing C in position 7. The optative and imperative are derived directly from the stem. Altogether, the schema is as follows. The formation of the tenses and moods of the verb her to cry, without prefixes. Simple stem tenses present stem tenses optatives and imperative. Topic. Indication of the subject and object The subject and object of the verb are indicated by the use of personal prefixes and suffixes in positions 3, 8 and 10 as follows. The personal prefixes are identical to the pronominal prefixes of nouns mandatory with body parts and kinship terms, as above. A simplified overview of the forms of the affixes is given in the following table. Personal prefix position 3 personal suffixes positions 8 and 10 for example, the construction of the preterite of the transitive verb fus to tie, with prefixes and suffixes separated by hyphens, is as follows. I fus I am I. He ties him. Filled positions, 3, 5, 8, 9, 1, 0. Mu fus I am I. He ties her, F. U fus I am I. He ties them, place HX. Mi fus I am I. He ties us. I fus I am in. We, you, they tie him. Mi fus I am in. You, they tie us. I fus I am a. I tie it. Gu fus I am a. I tie you. The personal affixes are also used when the noun occupies the role of the subject or the object, e.g. here I ear I me, the man died. With intransitive verbs, the subject function is indicated by both a prefix and a suffix, as in gu I R C U M A. You will die. Future. I Gertz I am I. He sank. Preterite personal prefixes do not occur in all verbs and all tenses. Some verbs do not admit personal prefixes, others still do so only under certain circumstances. Personal prefixes used with intransitive verbs often express a volitional function, with prefixed forms indicating an action contrary to the intention of the subject. For example, Horat I am I. He sat down. Volitional action without prefix. Ier I am I. He died. Involuntary action with prefix. Gertz I me. He went willingly underwater. He dove. Without prefix. I Gertz I am I. He went unwillingly underwater. He sank. With prefix. Topic. 
the d prefix A number of verbs, mostly according to their root form, are found with the d prefix in position 2, which occurs before a consonant according to vowel harmony. The precise semantic function of the d prefix is unclear. With primary transitive verbs the d prefix, always without personal prefixes, forms regular intransitives. Examples I fault I me he breaks it open transitive do fault is to break open, to explode intransitive a master's thesis research work of a native speaker of Barushovsky on middle voice construction in he Hunza dialect claims that the dd verbal prefix is an overt morphological middle marker for MV constructions, while the n verbal prefix is a morphological marker for passive voice. The data primarily come from the Hunza dialect of Barushovsky, but analogous phenomena can be observed in other dialects. This research is based on a corpus of 120 DD prefix verbs. This research has showed that position minus two on the verb template is occupied by voice marker in Barushovsky. The author argues that the middle marker is a semantic category of its own and that it is clearly distinguished from the reflexive marker in this language. The middle marker um means the grammatical device used to indicate that the two semantic roles of initiator and endpoint refer to a single holistic entity. Kemmer 1993-47. In the view of that definition, I look at a middle-marked verb in Barushovsky and illustration follows the example. Hiles ddi il emi the boy drenched. See also Barushovsky Comparative Vocabulary List Partawi Shah Languages of Pakistan